for this DIY, you're going to need a pair of denim jeans. I highly, highly, highly recommend you hit the thrift store for a good pair of true, real, authentic denim because that's the only fabric that's going to work for this DIY. I actually picked mine up from Value Village for about $2.50, which is amazing, and it's just your basic mom jean. Um, this is kind of an optional step, but I think it's a good idea to have a pair of everyday shoes close by so that you can try it on with the denim and just have a rough idea of how high up you want to cut and just have a rough idea of how it looks overall. Alrighty, this is where the DIY actually starts. So all you want to do is have a writing utensil on hand. I have a piece of chalk there and all I'm doing is roughly sketching out how high I think I want to cut my denim. I ended up drawing a second line because my first line ended up being a lot higher up than I intended. Anyways, I'm just measuring out with a ruler how high up I'm going to cut my pants. So I am roughly cutting at 6 inches high, roughly, and just drawing that on the second leg as well so I don't end up with lopsided hems because even though that might be cute, that is not the look I'm going for today. <laughs> Once you are done that, you want to go ahead and grab some scissors and start cutting away. I'm just going to warn you now, jeans, real true denim is really really thick and hard to cut so if you happen to have heavy duty scissors lying around, you should definitely use that. Now you're going to end up with these raw hems here and all you want to do is distress it. So I'm distressing it with my fingers here and then I realize I should probably get some tweezers. So I found some tweezers and it's a lot easier to work with tweezers than using your actual fingers. So all I'm doing is pulling the white thread and it just leaves this awesome frayed look. After doing this for roughly an hour, I decided that I'm all distressed out <laughs> and this is how it looks. It looked great. I really liked it, but to give a more finished touch, I decided to throw it in the wash and it looked even better when it came out of the wash.